In this example, we want to find the sum of the series. So what we're going to do here is we're going to expand it out for the first few terms, then simplify the expression that we have, and then that, and then use that to come up with the uh, partial sum formula. And then we can take the limit of that to give us the summation. Okay. So let's start with by expanding this. So when n is 1, we're going to get 1 minus 1 half. When n is 2, we're going to get 1 half minus 1 third. When n is 3, we're going to get 1 third minus 1 fourth. Okay. And let's do one more. When n is 4, we're going to get 1 fourth minus one-fifth okay and then so on okay so let's simplify this okay so remember this was for n equals to one this was for n equals to two n equals to three and n equals to four so this is going to give us one minus one half plus one half minus one-third plus one-third minus one-fourth plus one-fourth and minus one-fifth and so on. Okay, so what you probably notice now is that the the values between one and negative one-fifth will, will cancel out. This will give us zero, this will be zero, and this will be zero. Okay, so therefore this is equal to, right, this is left, we're left with one minus one fifth. Okay. So we can use this to come up with a uh, partial sum formula. So S of n is going to be, we're always going to be left with one here. Okay, we're always going to be left with one. But, and we're always going to be left with some term on the end. Okay, this term is going to be, um, it's going to be in terms of this, 1 over n plus 1. So that's going to give us 1 minus 1 over n plus 1. Okay. So for example, just if, let's say if for n equals to 2, okay, if we exp ex if we expand on our series here, we get for n equals two, we get one minus one half plus one half minus one third. So that's for two two terms, right? Two two of these. Um, so then this is going to give us one minus one third. So if you plug in n equals to two into here, um, that's exactly what we get. We get one minus one third. Okay. And it could be the same thing. So same thing for each n value. So when for n equals 3, we're going to get 1 minus 1 over 4. For n equals 4, we get 1 minus 1 over 5. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and take the limit of this to see what's happening as, you know, we want to see what's happening as n approaches infinity. Okay. So the limit of this is just going to be 1 because 1 over n plus 1 goes to 0 as n approaches infinity. So we get 1. Okay. So therefore, okay, the summation from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n minus 1 over n plus 1 approaches 1. Okay. So this type of series is called a telescoping series because the values in the middle in between are going to zero. So they, so you can think of this as a, um, you have an expansion here and then you take the terms out and then it sort of collapses, just like a telescope, okay? It's so like a telescope is, is contracting as well, okay? So we'll do another example of this, okay?